Hello, uh, this is Damien Collins. I'm the Conservative parliamentary candidate for Folkestone and High. Uh, I'm here this morning uh, in the Warhol area of Folkestone, uh, just by the mailbox pub and uh, Folkestone West Railway Station. Uh, we joined uh, this morning for some campaigning with our local councillors in this area, Peter Monk uh, and also Peter Gain, the councillor for Cheriton. Um, but one of the issues I wanted to talk about today was something that people raise with me a lot uh, on the doorstep, uh, talking to people right across the constituency. Uh, and it's an issue that affects all the people directly, but everyone is concerned about. And it's simply this, that it's, uh, I think it's wrong that someone uh, who has worked hard all their life and has got their own home uh, should be put in a position later in life where they have to sell that home to pay for care they might need, residential care, later in life. When often they've, they've worked hard for that, that uh, property, they've um, paid their taxes on the money that they've earned uh, to pay for that property, and they quite like to leave it to, the, to their family members and not have to sell it. Well, we've introduced uh, a new policy idea which will protect people from having to sell their home, but they'll be able to take out an insurance policy backed by the government, which will mean that they're never put in that position where they're forced to sell their home, and instead they'll be able to claim off of that policy. Now, to me, that's a much better idea than the idea that's been proposed by the government which is effectively something called, which has been called a death tax, where everyone, when they die, will be expected to pay £20,000 from, from, from the value of their assets to the government as a tax, and everyone would have to be forced to pay that when they die. I think we pay enough taxes all through our working life on the money we earn. I don't think the government should be able to tax us again when we die. I think that's wrong. In the same way that I think it's wrong that uh, taxes like inheritance tax, which were really only supposed to be for the, the super wealthy, and now being paid by people uh, of uh, all walks of life who have uh, saved and got their own home. Uh, a lot of homes, a lot of family homes, if they were sold on the market now, are worth increasingly quite a lot of money. And that means uh, an ordinary working family might be left with quite a big tax bill if one of their loved ones uh, dies uh, and they're having to sort of sort out the estate afterwards. And this is all wrong too. Um, and I think the reason this isn't just a concern for people um, sort of as they approach uh, the, the later years of their life, but right through their life, is it sends out a bit of a message, which is that even if you work hard, pay the taxes, play by the rules, that the government still sort of gets you in the end and the government still offers as much money as it can take from you. And this is all wrong. And I think it's something we can really do something about after the general election. Uh, Tony Blair said sort of 13 years ago that people shouldn't have to sell their homes later in life to pay for care, and yet we're still in a position where many people are being forced to do that, and the government's only other alternative is just to make everyone pay this tax, which I think is all wrong. But, um, so that's what I think we'll be talking about this morning with people. Also, I think one bit of good news I just wanted to mention, I was just listening on the radio this morning to the news from the England Test Match in uh, Bangladesh, uh, and it's Saturday morning as we're recording this, and James Treadwell from Kent, uh, who also was a youth player here in Folkestone, uh, made a, took a wicket on his uh, debut performance for England in Bangladesh. That's good news for him. Congratulations, James.